because all of us should have some type of business and entrepreneurial spirit, okay? Not saying that you have to be a business owner, but you need to have a spirit of entrepreneurship and a business mindset. It's your man gone God. All right, y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, Do It Jack. I'm back in the mix, I'm back in action, and this is What's Your Hustle. Well, hustling is a way of life about hustle. I'm talking how you survive through life every day. I wanna give some tips, some ideas, of jobs if you are you know what I'm saying a young homie for you to start making some money right now somebody asked me a question of hey can you provide us with a couple of ideas if you're you know if you're in high school if you're in college and you're trying to get your paper right you know what I'm saying this is not exactly career type um, jobs that you want to take but this this is something that can hold you while you're still working on your studies or while you're still transitioning into that business that you're trying to do or whatever it is that you're trying to do at this particular time in your life, right? Now, before I give you these ideas of types of jobs and hustles you could do to make money, let me first try to explain my mindset, all right? Just just, just uh, because some of these ideas that I'm gonna give you may not necessarily coincide with your mindset and your type of hustle and your type of drive and ambition. First, let me say this. My father, right? My father was a straight hustler. Like, as growing up, I can name probably at least seven different hustles that my dad had. He used to uh, sell pocketbooks. He used to sell uh, pictures, you know, like fine art pictures. He used to sell, he used to pressure wash. He used to, um, what else? He used to, he used to sell clothes. See, my, my father, he never really had a nine to five but he always had a grind, right? He always had hustle. He, and he sells cars, he sells and fixes cars. So growing up, he would take me on jobs with him. You know, he would take me while he's selling pictures. He would take me to, uh, you know, go to New York to get clothes and bring them back down so he could sell them. He would do all of these things and whether he realized it or not, he gave me a hustler's mentality. So when I was a young homie, I used to sell yo-yos, all right? Like, I'm talking about like, third, fourth, fifth grade young homie. I was like walking around knocking on people's doors, asking the homies, seeing if their parents would give them $5 so they could buy a yo-yo. Also as a young homie, uh, I used to sell like burnt CDs. Remember when burnt CDs was like a thing back in the day? You could burn CDs and I used to sell them for $3. So I kind of always had a hustler's mentality. You get what I'm saying? So these ideas right here are going to be, uh, they're going to be mixed. They're going to be geared kind of like that type of mentality, that kind of do it yourself, get out there and get it. And also just something that you can go ahead and get a nine to five with. First things first, cutting yards. All right. Also, I used to cut yards. I had a lawnmower. So here's the thing. Here's the idea. You get you a lawnmower. All right. You find out what uh, some of these landscaping businesses are charging. Some of these people, they'll charge like, They'll charge by the month, right? They'll say, okay, for this month, it's be like $60 a month or something like that. I don't know. What you can do is you can kind of undercut them. You could charge $25 a yard, $30 a yard. What I used to do, I used to knock on people's door. I used to, I used to even go as far as printing up flyers, typing it on the computer and putting it on people's mailbox. Like that's what I used to do. And I used to cut a few yards here and there. All right, I didn't, I didn't stay with it much longer because I ended up getting a job. Like since I was 16 years old, I always had a job. Like just always had a job, always been working consistently. So you can cut yards, okay? So you're gonna have, but the thing about cutting yards is you're gonna have to pay for your gas for the lawnmower, okay? And you're gonna also have to have a lawnmower. All right, so that's just one idea. The second idea that you can do, okay? lifeguarding and swim lessons now I I have I've lifeguarded for years all right I really recommend lifeguarding because one it's flexible you can you know it's, it's easy for you to still do what you need to do and two you're guaranteed to get a job pretty much with lifeguarding you're gonna have to get like a certification in swimming or, or Red Cross uh, first aid CPR certified and all that so Initially, there is a cost to be a lifeguard, which some courses are 125, some 175. I've seen some for 250. Go for the cheap ones, get your certification. And whenever you get that certification, you're good for two years. 
and everybody needs lifeguards. It doesn't matter. You got a YMCA in your neighborhood. You got a neighborhood pool. Get out there and be a lifeguard, but you got to know how to swim. All right. So a lot of us who might be in the hood or whatever, because I know some of us who watch this are in the hood. We don't necessarily have swimming pools, but it's still no excuse for you not to know how to damn swim. All right. So um, if you can find a way to really get your skills set up with the swimming, you could make you some money and have a consistent job pretty much all year round if you're if you can find a, an or indoor pool and swim lessons swim lessons is something as well that's, that's very viable but you have to have clientele and that is something that's built mostly off of reputation and your skill set all right but you can also work for a place that offers swim lessons as in their programs all right now let's move on to number three waiting tables okay now let me say this of course we know that you can work at a clothing store of course we know you can work at mcdonald's wendy's or burger king but a lot of the young people they kind of underestimate the uh, you know the the viability and benefits of being uh what they call barista a waitress or waiter okay i'm a, i'm in i'm in a filmmaking business to this day People my age and older are still working at, you know what I'm saying, uh, these rest restaurants waiting tables. Why? Because it's very flexible. When you get a call for an audition or you get booked for an audition or a, sh uh, or, or a movie or something, you can take off, you can have people take your place because it's very flexible, okay? Not only that, waiting tables is damn near, damn near like you're a bartender, except the fact that you don't necessarily have to deal with the alcohol and the whole party atmosphere because you're going to meet a lot of people and if you got a bubbly personality somebody who can use their words well you can smile a little bit somebody who's pleasing uh to talk to you're going to get your tips you know what i'm saying me personally if you i look for one or two things right with you and i'm gonna give you a nice tip that's just me personally now, i know a lot of folks don't particularly like to tip whatever the case is go and do it for the social benefit. So also you're, you're gonna be working with people, you're gonna build up your social skills and you're gonna meet people that can help you in your business, whatever, okay? Okay, so wait tables, that'll be a, a very good option for you. Number four is, I would say do some type of um, like construction work. Now, as early as about 16, 17 years old, you can work on, Excuse me. You can work on construction sites, and you can make like some 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 legit money. I'm talking like fifteen, sixteen dollars an hour. If you can get into one of these construction sites, that'll be something that is very good for you. Uh, let's see here. That was that number four, number five. Be a tutor. Now, tutors make they make bread. I would say if you're gonna be a tutor in anything, do math. You know, I'm a mathematical thinker. I never tutored uh, for money, but I know that I could have tutored for money. You know, algebra, you know, some some simple like that algebra. If you ha are any any uh, type of proficient in calculus, trigonometry, or any things like that, you are gonna make money, trust me. So, tutoring is, is very beneficial. You're helping people, you're also stimulating your brain and working your muscles as well, all right? Moving on, the next one. I would just say be a, uh, a babysitter. Now, uh, a babysitter or a dog sitter. I know a lot of the females, this is mo mainly guys watch this channel. I know it's a few of y'all females here. So if you are watching this, this could apply to you. Be a babysitter. Um, typically, I would say you can even put ads out on Craigslist. Use Craigslist to your advantage because you can also find some little nice jobs, just little uh, gig work on Craigslist. Uh, but you could be a babysitter. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna be dealing with some badass kids, but you can make some good money. You charge them folks, hey, look, I charge 15 an hour. They want you for four hours, that's $60, boom. They need you three times a week. 60 times three is 180. That over two weeks, 360 bucks. Also, while you have your restaurant job, whatever. So there's ways to really get money. You just gotta kind of be a little bit creative, okay? Now, Next thing is, which I think is the most important thing, is making money from your grind or your hustle or your craft, all right? Some of y'all are into t-shirt design. Some of y'all hit me up all the time and say, hey, look, Jack, here's my t-shirt, boom. Will you buy it or whatever? 
I like that hustle, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily mean I like your design, but I will support. Build up an audience for your craft and you're young. We're in the age of the, we're, we're, we're living in the YouTube age, you know what I'm saying? The Instagram, the social media age, you can build up an audience with your craft. Your audience is going to be worth more than any one t-shirt you can sell if they can, if you can get them to buy into what it is that you're doing. So t-shirts, right? Okay. Um, what else do people do out here a lot? A graphic design. A lot of people do graphic design as well. And ha go ahead, set you up a website. Advertise, you know what I'm saying? DM, like, see, let me tell you something, right? When I was coming up, there was no social media. Social media is still in my uh, in my generation, don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about coming up as far as like 10, 12 years old, mad early, right? Like I said, I used to sell yo-yos. I used to cut grass. I used to have to knock on people's doors. Well, now you don't have to do that. You can use the internet. Instagram, <clears throat> sliding in DMs, that's the equivalent to knocking on people's doors. You can literally be at your desk. You be you be laying in the bed, you know what I'm saying? Laying on your back with the head, you know what I'm saying? Looking up at the ceiling with your phone in your hand. Really putting in work. Like, it's serious. You can really be sending out, I don't know, 100 DM messages a day telling people about your products. You send out 100 DMs, you're going to hit, I don't know, maybe four or five. Now, you're like, damn, that's a lot. <clears throat> Let me tell you what I do, right? Like, even when I was selling tickets to my film event, I would DM people, but I would just copy a message, change the name, boom, send it, boom, 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 boom. All right, so that's, that's actually hustling. That's actually grinding. All right, so those are just some ideas of what you can do to get you some money within like, I'm talking like quick, you know what I'm saying? Something real soon. Uh, these jobs typically are always hiring. There's always a need. Also, I, I like I said, <clears throat> like I said, I used to pressure wash houses with my dad. So as a young homie coming up, it is very beneficial for you to have that, that, that mentality. Cause if you got a young homie, so, so some of y'all, y'all younger and y'all got kids, Get them involved early, man, because you never know what seeds you're planting. They, you might, you, you might think that it's not having an effect, but they'll looking at you, and somewhere in their subconscious, that'll blossom as they get older, and they start to get ideas, thinking that they can do certain things. That's why I'm the way I am, because I had a, I had a dad who would just take me with him. I didn't, I used to cry. I didn't even want to go with him until he called it work. I gotta go to work. So his work was out here in the streets, really trying to get money. And you know, my mom's had a traditional job, but he would always say, yo, I gotta, I'm, I'm going to work, you coming with me. I'm like, no, I don't wanna go, but he used to make me come. And that has a lot to do with my mentality today of why I'm so driven, why I'm just got this go-getter mentality. All right, so that's it for today, man. You know, follow your boy on Instagram. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully I said something that's constructive because you know if I'm coming, this, I'm coming on this camera showing my face, I'm gonna come with something that's constructive that can really help out all my homies to get them some money as well as stay out of trouble, man. Again, follow me on Instagram. I'll go by the name of Do It Jack. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And uh, until next time. Haters, y'all already know what it is. Get at me.